Welcome back everybody, a little bit of everybody's golf. We're playing open course, Imperial Garden, it's the course bonus today. Um, so we're going to play nine hole round and then we just might see how we're getting on, how we're getting on. So we're not, we're not playing a one hole round, we're playing a nine hole round. There we go. So it's normal cups, regular tees uh, and weak wind, so we should be able to get a reasonable score. Um, Assuming we, you know, don't do stupid stuff. Um, stupid stuff like, you know, overdriving, missing our impacts, you know, not reading the wind or the lie correctly. The usual nonsense. That took an interesting kick, didn't it? Well, it's, it's nice and safe, but wow, where did that go? Okay, so wind's coming off our right shoulder. Two enough. It's not a lot of green to play with, so we're going to have to pitch past, I think. Um, and try and stop it. Oh, that might be a bit short. And a bit left, although they, they're giving me the gasp. Ooh. Yeah, it's a little bit short. A little bit short. Landed just on that bit of fringe. However, we've got a lovely flat birdie putt. And we should always take our birdies. Nice birdie. Ah, oh, that was the extra bonus hole. So we get our 500 coins. So, par 5 next. Over the lock gates, right into the teeth of the wind. So, with a bit of luck, that, that bunker's not in play. <laughs> yeah, it should be okay. Yeah, that's nice and safe down the fairway uh, the one with this was that big pot bunker and again in a headwind it's going to make our life interesting and the safe option is to kind of play for this side of the green um, and give it give it plenty of club oh, good shot. just to some extent being off the back is probably better than being in the bunker oh that was spawny Really didn't give that enough club, if we're honest. But we get a little chip chance here. Let's see what we can do. Ah, uh, impact wasn't good. Oh, got it in, though. So we've got our eagle. Unconventional, to be sure. But again, take your chip in, eagles, where you get them. So 12's a par 4. It's a powerful. Again, wind coming over our right shoulder, so we're heading back down. Again, this is one I've always kind of struggled with, because you, you can either try and land it on there. I haven't quite... I mean, you could try and drive it up, but actually my preferred solution, for want of a better term, is just to play up onto this. As in, oh, if you hit the impact... Oh, <sighs> oh just... just Stay, it got out of bounds. Ugh. Well, what I was going to say was it's much easier because you can play up onto that. But, you know, I went and proved that I'm a complete muppet. So let's try that once more with feeling. Yeah, hit the impact, Simon. Much better. So we lost shot and distance there. So we're there for three. Which on a par four means it's got to go in the hole. Okay, so off our right shoulder, plenty of green to work with. Again, can we just get it close? Gonna kick right wing, or bring it back to the left. How's the length? Well, that's not bad. Oh, get in! Oh, I, as chipping pars go, I'd argue that was a pretty good one. 83 yards. I, I, quite, I don't like how I got to it, but I, I like it. Okay, and this is another one where it's just it's just a challenge because of that sand there. You know, you've got the option over there, but it's not really much help at this length. Um, the safe bet is to kind of lay up into that thicker part of the green and hope you don't get a nasty kick, which is what we're going to do. It's an opportunity as well to power up my three wood, which I thought oh, I'd powered up, but I lost that power, the 25 when I lost my um, two albatrosses, but let's leave that story for another day. So, we're in a reasonably good spot. 
Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to kick right a tiny bit, but the wind will bring it back. Plenty of green to work with. Slightly uphill. Slight bit of headwind, so maybe a little bit over. Didn't really hit the impact. Oh, it should be on the green. Good, good. Oh, that's quite a nice shot. So we're inside three Just foot. Nice, easy birdie pup. I'll take that. A birdie. So, 14 to par 3. All 14. It's a par 3. Okay, slightly in our face off the left. Yeah, the interesting bit of this, you've got to hit the wood. Although I could hit that iron with a bit of power. I think I've got enough club though, have I? Have I got enough club with the 3 iron? That just feels like it's going to end up in the bunker. Yeah. But the wood's going to be really hard to stop. Let's give the three iron a crack. But let, let's go over here. Because that way we've got a chance of getting it up on the fairway if we if we make a hash of it. We're in a bit of luck that'll stop as well. So we're on. Which, let's face it, is the, is the real battle. It gives us a 30 footer. Okay. So it's going to break right and it's uphill. Let's have a look at the other side. Okay. We've got to hit it firm. Let's see if we can get it close. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on. Yeah, it's a bit, bit too firm, a bit too much of a borrow. But it leaves us a three footer. But I think what we did was we minimised the bogey risk, but sacrificed the birdie. But I can come back for the birdie later. So, 15 to par 4. I think we're not quite downwind. Well, that that's an outfit, young lady, isn't it? That's an outfit. Can you not put the club there? It looks like it's going to sting. I don't want to see that. Okay. So, have I got enough club to get over that lip is the question. We could play it here. That's probably the safer line. Okay. Mr. Cars, please do not stick that club there. Yeah, cleared the lip. Can we hold up enough? We're going to end up in the rough, aren't we? Okay, 56 to go, though. We're a little bit stuck in the long stuff. We're on an approach which we're not going to make, so let's, let's play standard mode. And let's see if we can get it get it up and close. We've got it up out of the muck. Got it on. Overpitched a bit, but that's okay. 15 footer. Not that much of a break. A little bit downhill. Let's see how our luck is. Might break. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Right edge, but I'll take it. So get us to five under. Sixteen to par five. I think it should just be cross. Oh no, we've got a bit of a tail. Bit of a tailwind. Okay. And again, it's got my favourite skip on it here. You can play onto that asphalt. So let's give it a go. You get a very high bounce. It kind of kills the length, but it's a much safer place to drop it, if you see what I mean. Rather than, you know, having to avoid that pot bunker to the right. I kind of like it. But people are driving it much further than me with their custom clubs. Right, and this is always the eternal damage. Do we lay up? But we've got the tailwind. So let's, um, let's give it a dig. Great shot. And again, I'd rather be out the back here, so I don't mind this is going to land and skip through. That's okay. It's much better than stopping short. So I've got a good shot into it. It's going to drop to the right. This is all about where it pitches. My pitcher come back. Oh, Line was absolutely spot on. Line was spot on, just I over-pitched it a little bit. But I got a good chance of the birdie. Which I'll take. Oh, lipped it a bit. 
that's two little two little strokes a lot. So two holes to go. Par three and a par four. Again, this can be difficult when you've got a lot of wind, but the wind's quite quite nice to us here, and we've got a fair good pin position. We've got plenty of green to play with. So let's try and get it up and on. Uh, I don't know where that's going to go. But if you leave yourself 12 foot, you, you're all right. Where's that gone? That should be all right. It's about 15 foot. Yeah, 16 foot. Okay, so it's a relatively flat green. Just going to break right. Let's give that. Let's it firmish. Should just come back nicely. Take the birdie. So seven under, par four to come. Last one, ball eighteen. It's a pop. Into the wind, but that's okay. Plenty of power shots in hand to sort of counter out the wind. It's all about which side of that little ridge you kind of pitch, really. Just sort of pitches you right. Yeah. And I'm going to end up in that. Will I hold up? Yeah, not quite in that little hollow. So that's quite a nice position. It's just going to kick right. There's a pot bunker there. We're into the teeth of the gale a bit, but again, we've got enough club. So let's just try and pitch it past. Oh, go on, just clear that lip. Yeah, it's on the green. It's on the green. That's not bad. Ten foot. Seven foot. Okay, seven foot for a birdie. Looks like it slopes up. Let's go half a cup right. Hit it firm. Should be good. Yeah, it's nice. So eight under. That's not bad. Yeah, not bad. My record there was four under. So I've I've done reasonably well. I've had this a lot the last couple of days. Every now and again, it doesn't sort of read the. So provisionally ranked first, but of course, I'm not. Tidy was out. Yeah, hit some greens though, which was good. Drove my greens average up, which is always a good thing. So let's go and finish off and um, and get our hole bonuses on 12 and 14, I suppose, is the thing to do. So let's do 12 first. And again, this was as much just me being an idiot as anything else. It's a par four. I mean, I know exactly what to do, which is to play it here. I just didn't execute it because, you know, stupidity. Um, so let's get it up there. Got the impact. Bravo. See where this rolls to, because it will roll right when it hits. But it should cling on to that slope head enough. You shouldn't end up in the rough. That's okay. So 80 to go. It's going to kick right a bit. Wind's going to bring it back to the left. So let's just pitch it on. Let's see if we can get that birdie. Good, good. Just over pitched a bit. We'll come back. Oh, that's quite nice. Three foot for a birdie. For a birdie. Fancy me chances, if I'm honest. A birdie. Really? So I had a chip in par and a birdie there. Uh, 14 is the other one. Let's get off this island. Let's get over to 14. Bit of a skid around. Oh, and again, I got a par here, didn't I? It's a par three. I was just too far away. I didn't. I didn't actually go for that. So the pins moved. I think I was a bit scared of my three arm, wasn't I? But you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Ah, oh, I haven't got the power shot, of course, because it's a par three when you play it as a one hole. Yeah. No. No. But I'm in that. We'll 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 go back in. We'll go back and have another crack at that. But first, we might just pick up all of our bits and pieces. I've got myself a gem. 
is always nice. There's a few bits. Ball there. Ultra approach ball. I haven't really used those particularly much recently. Because I've got that perfect impact ball. Or the triple impact ball, sorry. I've been using that on when I was trying to get my albatrosses. Um, and I've been using the 160 power balls a lot as well. Because it gives you much finer control over your shots. Uh, oh, in the canal there. I should play turf all mate, shouldn't I? I've not, I've not really tried it. Um, if anyone, by the way, has played it, I'd be really interested in what you made of it. So please send me a comment. Am I stuck in here now? Oh, that's brilliant. Is this one of those things where I'm going to have to abort out? There's a ball in there. Is there a way out of this? Oh, yeah, I can probably get out of there, can't I? So yeah, if you have played the turf war mode, I'd be really interested in what you made of it. Is it actually an interesting mode to play? There's all manner of stuff around here. I definitely had a few more little spawn sounds. Let's have a look on this side. I think I left one up here, didn't I? Yeah, you can just jump that. Anything else up here? No. So, let's get back to 14. See if we can just finish that off. Can you get up there? Probably can if you're not an idiot. Hi. Alright, let's give that another go. It's a party. There are some more coins there. Right, so. Well, let's give it the three wood. Let's see if we can stop the three wood. That's on. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I left myself an interesting part, haven't I? 30 footer. Right. Where's that? Oh, is that going to break? So it's going to go right a bit. Okay, so it is a left break. Wow. I don't think I can read that. It is going to break left. It is going to break left. Okay. Let's see how that one looks. Come on, come back, come back, come back, come back. Yeah! Whoa. That was heck of a putt for that, if I'm honest. Okay, so that's the online course done for the day. And um, we'll just pick up our little bits and pieces. Um, and then I think we're done. So if you enjoyed that, please um, please like the video. Uh, please feel free to share it. And if you want to see more Everybody's Golf and, and some other PS4 games, please subscribe. I do a bit of um, Gran Turismo. I've started playing. Um, I've been doing Spelunky daily challenges. And I'm um, just generally having a bit of fun and sharing it on here because, you know, why not? Why not share a bit of this stuff with people? So until next time, enjoy your Everybody's Golf and I'll see you soon.